真我真 Good morning and praise the Lord. Are you facing any kind of attack? Are you feeling as if your life is full of attacks and you know um, just the enemy working things working against you, the enemy fighting you, people fighting you and you are realizing that you are you know in an endless battle and you're wondering what do I do when I am facing all these kinds of attacks? Well, in this world, the word of God says that Jesus told his disciples, in this world you will face trouble, but take heart because I have overcome the world. And one of the characters in the Bible that I love is David. David went through various attacks. He was attacked by the enemies, you know, uh, the Philistines. He fought with the Philistines many times. He fought with Saul who was looking for his life and actually wanted to kill him and uh, so that he cannot be able to rise to kingship. And even after he rose to kingship, he still faced many battles. At one point, his son Absalom actually conspired against him and he wanted to, uh, you know, kill him and take over the throne. He organized a coup d'etat to be able to take over the kingship from his father. And David went through all these kinds of attacks. He was fought for, you know, from different angles, right from, you know, uh, his family all the way to, you know, the, uh, the, 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 the people, some people in Israel. Remember one time when he was actually being cast by a person called Shimei um, when he was running away from Absalom. And, you know, we know the many times he fought with the Philistines, as I have said. In this world, we will always face attacks. That's why the Word of God tells us that we need to um, put on the full armor of God so that we can be able to wage war against any attacks of the enemy, that we will be able to stand when we face those attacks. And now, back to the story of David. In the book of 2 Samuel chapter 22, we see a song which was written by David. Actually, it was sung by David. It is called the David's Song of Deliverance. And the Word of God says, David spoke to the Lord the gods of this song on the day when the Lord delivered him from the hand of all his enemies and from the hand of Saul. And he said in verses 2, The Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer. Verse 3, My rock, my, ro- uh, my God, my rock in whom I take refuge, my shield and the horn of my salvation, my stronghold and my refuge, my savior. You save me from violence. Verses 4, he says, I will call upon the Lord who is worthy to be praised, and I am saved from my enemies. Now listen to this. When David was facing all these attacks that he faced from all his enemies, external enemies, the Philistines, the people from other nations when he was attacked by Saul, and even later on in life when he faced, you know, this attack from his own son, David knew something. He knew that the Lord was his rock and his fortress. A fortress is, um, you know, a source of security. He says that the Lord is my rock. The Lord is my fortress and is my deliverer. He's the one who sets me free. He's the one who, um, you know, helps me to be able to escape every attack of the enemy. He goes on to say in verse 3, My God and my rock in whom I take refuge. When the attack seems so hard and it's as if I am losing it all, the Lord is still my refuge. I can run to him. And uh, in another portion of scripture, he talks about God being a very present help in times of trouble. Praise the Lord Jesus. And he says he is my shield. The shield is what you use to defend yourself and the horn of my salvation. He is my stronghold and my refuge, my savior. And he says you save me from violence. This morning, I want to remind you that the God we serve is a mighty God. Is the Lord who is able to rescue you from every attack of the enemy. He's able to rescue you and even to be with you when you are facing different attacks, when people conspire against you, when people, you know, um, try to uh, bring you down. God has power to be able to protect you and to cover you even when you go through these attacks. He told um, 
<laughs> he spoke to the children of Israel through prophet Isaiah and said even when you go through the waters I will be with you when you go through the fire yes the fire may come but I will be with you and the fire will not burn you and David says in verses 4 I call upon the Lord who is worthy to be praised and I am saved from my enemies this is my message to you this morning whenever you face any kind of attack in your life It could be conflict arising in your family. It could be conflicts in your workplace. It could be actually people rising up against you and people, you know, trying to bring you down in whichever way. This is what I want you to learn to do every time you face attacks. Call upon the name of the Lord. He alone is worthy of all the praise and he is the one who is able to save us from all enemies the biggest enemy that god has helped us in this uh, dealing with is the enemy of sin that separates us eternally from him but god is rescuing us he has rescued us he has brought us from the domain of darkness and he has brought us into his marvelous light and this same god is able to rescue you when you face every kind of attack this is my prayer for you today that you will trust in this god you will put your hope in god it doesn't matter what you're facing it doesn't matter how things may have been tough put your hope and your trust in god call upon him and he will hear you he will answer you in accordance to his will and in accordance to um you know uh his word and um i pray that the purposes of the lord will be established in your life as you trust in him as your rock as your refuge as your stronghold in the mighty name of Jesus let's pray together our father and our lord your word says that you are our rock you are lord god of glory our refuge we we can run unto you we can trust in you we thank you lord for rescuing us from sin from the power and the penalty of sin and we thank you lord that you've brought us lord into the domain of light you've brought us from the domain of darkness into your marvelous light and this morning god of glory we acknowledge the fact that God you are the only one Lord God who is able to rescue us and to save us and therefore Lord we pray may you deliver us from every form of evil in the mighty name of Jesus Lord as your people call upon you God may you rescue them from every form of attack from every wicked scheme of the enemy help us lord that we will rely in you and you alone that we will put our hope and our trust in you and you alone that god we will not allow the attacks of the enemy lord god of glory to overwhelm us and to redirect us and cause us to doubt your sovereign power in the mighty name of jesus thank you god because i know that you're more than able to do this in the mighty name of jesus father we pray believing and trusting Amen and amen. May the Lord bless you. Have a great day today. Remember, this Sunday we are here in church. Come, let us fellowship together. Uh first service starts at 7:30, our second service from 9:30, and we also have a special youth service from 12:30. Purpose to be here and may the Lord bless you.